I don't know. It's a, I always say it's like it's a coming of age film for a 50 year old man. You know, it's sort of people figuring out how they're gonna get along when tragedy strikes, and I think that's what's sort of nice about it. I'm the backup parent, the understudy. I thought you were supposed to be getting your act together. I've been doing really well, actually. Nobody ever seems to notice that. And with Elizabeth, my wife, in the hospital, my daughters are testing me. Look who's here. Get out of my underwear, you freak. Oh, okay. Don't Back inside now. Real good job you're doing. I don't know if there's a particular story, but his generosity. I mean, he's above and beyond generous. We had someone get sick on set, and uh, and George matched whatever amount the crew raised, and we all donated it to the family. And, and then George did it without telling anyone. And that, to me, is, is a phenomenal George Clooney story. Um, you know, look, I think... Um, he's perfect in every way. He's everything America wants him to be. He's funny, he's charming, he's effervescent. And he is literally the best guy in the world. But he throws like a girl. Yes. So just know, every dude out there, if you throw a football, you throw better than George Clooney. My story is going to be boring, but we have a really emotional scene together. And even though you know you hear about him being such a prankster and um, a joker on set, for me, in this moment, he was everything I needed him to be. He was really conscientious and respectful of what I was going through, and we had a really good time together. Let me think. Best George Clooney story. I will tell him. Um, mostly, I, because I do enjoy talking about myself in that third person, um, uh, I don't really, I can't think of any good ones. Were there any good ones? What you've been going through, that's a tough deal. I'm just trying to keep my head above water.